Hello everyone, I'd like to share with you a few trades posted on Friday. This trade was shared by MH, who is trading DAX futures CFD during the London session. You see here the, an uptrend channel and the um, structural charts. You see the pullback got completed here. And he waited for the breakout happen and entered with the tick chart uh, when was sure that this area uh, the price has a very good momentum upward uh, so and the target was on the other side of the channel if you draw it and this is a live trade so the market retests that and goes further up he trailed a stop loss and a stop loss is moving now to protect the profits and you see it's getting close to the target or yeah reached that target and uh, looks like now he is adding another position and the whole result was this piece on top of the previous profit so two consecutive uh, gain on this uptrend and he also sent this one on nasdaq cfd and you see it's going down at this time of the day and uh, you see the breakout happen and the sellers are back so you can draw the uh, channel like this downtrend channel and with the proper entry after completion of pullback he took uh, all this chunk of the profits and trailing the um, entry and it's moving now entry was here and I think the exit was here and there was another entry here and he saw pullback and exit again here so repeatedly taking the entry uh, when there's pullback and sellers are back and exit with profits MH also shared this trade on the US 30 which is the CFD of Dow Jones industrial average and we see again all these indices in US market have very downtrend and you see in one minute chart the downtrend channel with the pullback got completed at this point and entry here uh, and then you can see the exit also in the other side of channel so in the over but area based on algo 4 so thank you MH for sharing your trades with us the next trade was shared by Castro or global instructor trading Nasdaq CFD and as you see the price reached a level of resistance that couldn't hold and the breakout happened at this point and so he entered here properly uh, based on setup C with the tightest stop loss and is trailing now the profits and trying to reach the targets on the other side of the support area one target is filled and the second target is waiting now to see what happened and that also was closed with profit so thank you Castro for sharing your trades with us. The next few trades were shared by Yan, or global instructor trading macro Nasdaq futures. As you see the macro and the structural charts are in downtrend. The pullback got completed so he entered a few short trades here. Now he's waiting for another pullback and that seems to be completed. The sellers are back and he's entering again taking pullbacks and let the ATM manage the trades automatically and adjusting also target and stop manually if needed another good pullback here so he entered at this point several position and close with profit another pullback and continuously taking pullbacks the momentum is getting less and the result of these trades are shown here. He reached profit factor of 5.9 with 80% win rate and average win to loss ratio of 1.47. Thank you, Jan, for sharing your trades with us. These are some of my trades at the beginning of New York market session. Again, as you see, there was downtrend. So, and I'm showing you the previous trades that I didn't record is to enter short positions repeatedly and this area was kind of sideways and so I used setup C and there was one entry here that led to a big runner here with very large profit and the result of these trades 
were profit factor of 4.34 and that's because the win rate was around 41 with setup C but average win to loss ratio was very large around 6.27 and that's because of runner of $800 compared to losing trades of 144 so thank you for your attention and hope these trades are useful for you and let us know if you have any questions. Have a wonderful day and weekend.